Are you struggling with bicep pain or have you even been diagnosed with biceps tendonitis? Well, I'm going to show you the best three exercises that you can do on your own from home as a physical therapist who's been doing this for several years. Please post your comments and questions below and join us on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to ask any questions you want. I'm here for you, so let's dig into it. So if you're having a lot of pain in your bicep, you shouldn't be doing a lot more exercises to strengthen it up. You need to start focusing on how do you get that pain to calm down and the inflammation to chill out. And how you do that is bring more blood flow into the area. And I'm going to show you guys the three best ways you can do it on your own from home. So first one is massage. You're going to take some lotion, put it on the area. And what you're going to do is you're going to focus on massaging the main muscle belly itself. You don't need to focus on uh, massaging the tendons. Muscle bellies themselves have the most amount of circulation and blood flow. And if we focus on massaging out the tendons, tendons aren't going to get a lot of blood flow because naturally just not made that way. So don't focus deep in your uh, elbow joint and don't focus up here in your shoulder as much. Focus more on the whole muscle belly itself. Now it's pretty lubricated at this point. So what I'm going to do since I'm doing it to myself is I'm going to use my thumb or my knuckles and just remember there's, there's two parts of the bicep. So it comes up here and then it splits apart. One attaches deep inside here and then one attaches on the inside of your shoulder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my knuckles and I'm gonna dig in and I'm going nice and slow and then I'm gonna start rotating my wrist up and go all the way up towards the top of that shoulder and then coming back. And I'm gonna be stroking towards, towards my body, not necessarily away because we're trying to get all that blood flow and any of that toxicity that's built up in that bicep back towards the heart and helping that circulation. So using my knuckles, or my thumb and I'm digging into that bicep it shouldn't feel good and then I'm just stroking up and down now you can do this for about two to three minutes and you should start feeling that that tissue is really starting to get worked out if you notice there's more tendon uh, or more tenderness on the outside of your arm then focus on that area as well now two to three minutes that's a, a just a generalization so if you need more time on it great do it if you need less time spend less time on it so you also want to focus on not only your biceps but your brachialis that sits deep underneath that brachialis sits on about the distal third of this bone so it sits underneath the biceps tendon and so after you've massaged this all out and it's feeling better you're going to push that biceps muscle to the side relaxing your forearm on a table and you're going to start pushing on that brachialis by pushing that biceps muscle to the side you're going to push that brachialis and once again you're using your fingers to stroke and push it up towards your arm, towards your body, not away. And you're just putting a lot of pressure into it and doing slow strokes. It shouldn't feel great. And you're just trying to work that tension out of there. I'm gonna use my thumb because I feel like I can get a better grip. And you're just gonna go over that area probably for about a minute to a minute and a half. Now, it's not as big of a muscle, so it's not gonna take you as long, but that's the first treatment that I would do if I had bicep pain and I was trying to get it to relax. The second best treatment that you can do if you're having a lot of bicep pain on your own from home is scraping. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a butter knife, you're gonna use the dull edge, put some more lotion on your bicep, you're gonna put it on top of your bicep and put it at a 45 degree angle, and you're gonna stroke the entire bicep all the way up to your shoulder joint. And what we're trying to do with this too is increase blood flow, more blood flow in your bicep muscle and tendons, so it will decrease the stress in that area and decrease your pain. So scraping is a great way to do that. So once again, placing a butter knife, the dull edge, straight down, rotate at 45 degree angles, and then you're gonna be stroking it up towards your shoulder. We're trying to push all that fluid, any inflammation, all that stuff that, that's going on in your bicep, we're trying to push it towards your body so then uh, we're not having all that inflammation, all those toxins sitting down in our hand. We're pushing it back into the entire body by pushing it towards our heart. Make sure that you're stroking your bicep muscle nice and fast, and it's gonna help numb those nerve receptors in that area. And so what you're doing is for about one and a half to three minutes, you're just going nice and fast, stroking your bicep all the way up towards your shoulder until you start noticing a, a nice red discoloration. And what that means is you're getting a lot of blood flow in that area. We call it in the medical world petechiae. And if you look really close, you'll see some discoloration there. And that's when you know you've done a good job. Don't keep going beyond just the redness and the petechiae, because if you do that, you can really over irritate that tissue. You're gonna to wanna to put your hand up on the wall and no higher than shoulder height and you're gonna turn your palm facing away and you're gonna turn away from it and then you're gonna lean into it and you should feel a nice big pull across your bicep and your forearm. You're gonna hold it for 30 seconds and then you relax 
and you're gonna do that a total of five different times. Have you been struggling with bicep pain for more than a month? Well, it's time to do our online bicep rehab program. It's gonna walk you through day by day what you need to be doing to prevent any unnecessary surgeries and prevent further injury in your bicep. The links below are gonna show you exactly what you need to do to sign up for the course. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and join us for our uh, live session on Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you guys have a great rest of the day.